right guys i have found out how to turn off the vibration on the dualsense controller especially if you're playing fortnite on a phone right so this is a dualsense controller that i use on my samsung you can see it's actually connected uh, with this light uh the other dualsense controller this one is the one i use on my steam deck that's the one i use on the steam deck now you have to go to this option here which is the one right there and um this option here where you find it is under the uh i, I don't know the tv one that's uh, it's one two three four five six it's the sixth option at the top controller options and then uh, it's the sixth sixth one so there's actually seven eight nine so there's nine options but you want the sixth option and in here You'll actually see through in vibration and you can just turn it off. It says um, device vibration blocked by controller on. Blocked. What does blocked mean? Blocked by controller. I don't know what that is. Anyway, I'm, I'm just going to see how that goes. I've also selected that on the actual um, frame rate, I put it on 60. I just want to see what's going to happen. It says it might lower the quality presets. Right, that's interesting. Right, it's just, it's just um, it's saying increasing the FPS may lower the quality presets. Right, so I'm just leaving it like this for now. But I'm saying if you're looking for vibration, it's a sixth option out of the nine. So where you find it is here. It's just under, you see, you'll see all this controller auto run, build immediately, um, uh, build a pro edit whole time slide whole time reset camera access reset camera time and then after that you'll find vibration and then the other one is device vibration blocked by controller so i don't know what that is i'm gonna get into a game i'm gonna get into a game right now and uh, i know i'm using the stylus but i'm just saying i'm trying to make this quicker uh in terms of what i'm trying to do and then I'm going to actually, I'm going to play the game now. Uh, the phone, the phone you can see in front of you is the um, Galaxy Z Fold 5. Uh, sorry, Z Fold 4. I, I'm, I'm getting the Z Fold 5 hopefully next week. I'm paying uh, $1,100 for that one. And um, I'm just waiting for that one to, I mean... I've already paid some money towards it. I just need to finish paying it off and then I get it. I get the phone. Right. So what I'm using here is I'm using the, I'm using a PT-390. And this is a Bluetooth speaker. Mine is actually called King's, Kingsworth, Kingsworth, sorry. It's actually a power bank built into here. It's got an oxy cable so you connect this uh, to Steam Deck if you wanted to. Uh, if if all your devices on Bluetooth were completely overtaken, so that's what it's called. It's called a PT-390 NFC high quality stereo Bluetooth speaker and power bank. So it's a PT-390. That's the uh, Bluetooth speaker I'm using on this uh, Galaxy Z Fold. Is it the only one to use? No, I mean, listen, I'm just trying to promote the speaker because it's quite good. It's a very good speaker. Uh, it's also waterproof as well, you know. So I'm just saying, you might not even buy it for, you might not even buy it for your Samsung. You might just buy it for the, for a camping trip or something, right? So basically, all of these controls that you can see right now, is being controlled via a um, a DualSense controller. I'm not touching the screen at all. I know you can see the touch controls and everything, but I'm not gonna touch the controls. I'm just explaining to people that you can play this game on your phone on the android phone i don't know with iphone i do have iphones around me but uh, i'm yet to see anybody talk about fortnite on the iphone as yet as we all know that you need to have the actual um i mean apple was saying they were going to include third-party softwares but as far as fortnite going back onto the iphone i don't know if that will ever happen unless we're able to sideload it right like you know how we do it oh, because okay with this game i didn't need to sideload this game all i did with this game basically is 
I downloaded this using the Galaxy Store on the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4. But in other terms, you cannot find this game on the Play Store. So I've got two stores on my phone. I've got the Galaxy Store and I've got the Play Store. So that's why I'm saying I was able to download this game directly onto the Samsung phone. Mine is a Z Fold 4. Uh, like I said, I'm getting the Z Fold 5 next week, I hope. I paid about uh, $560 for this one. Uh, the main reason why it was cheap is because it doesn't unfold completely. And uh, when I got it, it was, I mean, it was it was good. You know, I mean, I, I, I never really bothered myself about the fact that it couldn't fold completely. I just saw it as, uh, um, you know, it's something that I could live with because... I've had phones in the past. I've had phones in the past that went that went perfect, but I mean, I lived with those phones, you know. So I just kind of, I kind of figured out, like, you know, it's just a temporary thing, isn't it? It's temporary. I mean, it's 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 something that I I will hopefully fix eventually, right? I will fix I I will fix that that issue. But what I'm trying to say is basically, I'm getting another phone which is a Z Fold 5, like I said, paying $1,100 for that one. Um, why does it cost so much? Because it's, it's in the box, it's new. Uh, it unfolds, obviously, and the shop that's selling it is not going to sell it for cheap. You know, they, they're not, they're not going to do the cheap, the cheap option. Let me see, do I need this other one? What I'm saying is they're not going to sell it to me for cheap. They're not going to be like, oh, you know what? We'll just give it to you for, for half the price. No, that's not going to happen. Wait, can I cut through this? Oh, I can. What I'm saying is, as long as the phone unfolds, especially with these uh, Z Folds, they, they know they can make money off selling it. You, you understand? So you're not the only person that likes this kind of phones. The other phone that I was interested in, they had another Z Fold 4. They were selling that one for about um, 700 uh, pounds. Uh, $700, sorry. And uh, basically, uh, within, I, I would say within a, a couple of um, days of seeing it, it was about, seven, okay, it was about $750, right? Without, within a couple of days of just seeing that uh, phone, it was gone. I'm serious. I went to the same store, not, not looking for that phone in particular, just, just you know, window shopping. And I thought, okay, let me, let me just look around again. This is where I saw that phone. And guess what? The phone was gone. And I'm talking about a matter of days. Not, 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 even, not even a week had gone by and someone had just bought the Samsung. You see, one, Samsung's a very popular phone. Two, a lot of people do like the phone. So obviously, if they do find it, they're going to buy it. It's just, um, it's an obvious thing. And I don't even like this. I don't even know why they, they created that thing. Oh my God, oh my God. Wait, wait, wait. wait, 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 wait. Yes, good. I'm just saying, let me throw this because I want, I want this gun back. Right. So what, what I'm saying basically is not a lot of people. Wait, wait, do I have a scope? Do I have a scope? I've got a scope. Yeah. Oh my God. There's a guy over there. Yeah, there it is. There he is. There, 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 there. Oh my God. Am I missing? Oh my God. Come on. Someone's actually shooting me. Is there someone shooting me? No. Okay. They're trying to shoot this dude as well. Oh my God, let me, let me get him. <laughs> so what I'm saying is, um, within a matter of days of just seeing that phone, yeah? And I went back there, just, just doing, like I said, window shopping, just looking. The phone was gone. So basically, these, these Samsungs, they, they sell really quickly, especially the Fold Edition. People love the Fold Edition. So it's obvious, when someone walks in the shop, the first thing they see is the Fold. And when they say it's a Samsung, it's gone. I mean, it's gone. The people, people love Samsung. You know, it's Samsung. I think to a lot of people, it's like an iPhone. You know, it's it's like when you see that phone you've you've always wanted, and then someone will be like, "Yeah, this this is what I've always wanted." Even if you didn't want to fold. You know, when I first saw the folds, when they first came out, they were costing like two grand and stuff. I I never really, I was never really interested in them. I'm just saying from my perspective, I was never really into it. I was just like an iPhone type person. Of course, I wanted the Fold, but I couldn't afford two grand. It was just way too much. But I mean, these days when, when they, they're just selling the phones, 
these shops want to make a quick profit you know they just want to make that quick money and obviously they, they know if they sell it for two grand no one's gonna buy it i mean someone will eventually buy it but you know who you understand what i mean wait can i just grab this thing and then throw these things around i just want to throw them around you see then i'll go and grab this gun again there we go it made sense right there just to throw them around so basically what i'm saying is the shops that sell these phones they want to make a quick buck they want to make their money quickly they're not interested in in you know in long time keeping these these things these phones come on oh damn it so i mean at the end of the day as long as they're making a quick buck they're making their money like they make profit that's all they're interested in because you know these days people they don't have money who's walking around with a grand nobody you see no one's walking around with a grand if i had a grand on me i i probably wouldn't have i would have thought of buying the, the, the z fold 5 but i mean what i normally do is every phone i buy i always look on cex you know the website cex and i want to see how much that phone costs first and then i see the the cost and the next thing i do is i want to see if people are actually buying these phones like you know if if i buy this phone can i then get my money back that kind of situation i'm not saying that's that's all i look for but that's that's what i'm mostly interested in am i going to get some kind of money back you know am i going to get something for this or is this just like it's just uh, me buying the phone because i want to buy it you understand that's what i normally do before i buy anything i do checks on um cex how much did they sell the phone for how much did they buy for what's the trading value of the phone and then obviously then that's how i calculate whether or not i'm gonna buy the phone that's what i do and why am i doing that because a lot of the time cx if they're gonna give you a voucher you can buy anything they've got in the shop you know it's not you're not restricted so i could get this phone today and decide well you know what they, they probably got the ao neo or the win mini i can't get a win mini online so let me buy it from them and you can trade in your phone you know so that's why i'm saying there's just so many advantages of of doing that that i feel like it's it's worth buying of course i'm not buying the z fold 5 because i want to trade it in that that i think that would be a bit dumb you can't you can't pay a grand just just for trading i mean what, what are they going to give you that you could trade in for anyway but but the main my my main point is um having the z fold 4 for a while i notice how how much i do multitask i multitask a lot and you know it would be just great to have a phone because listen i think iphone has tried so many times like giving you apps where you can multitask where you could have um you can you can look at your i mean there are apps you can use you know where, where are people fighting i'm saying there's apps you can use whereby someone uh sorry whereby uh let me let me go up can't see where, where people are I'm saying you can use apps. You know, I got a sniper on this. If I can just see where people are at. Right. There's a lot of action going on. This is pointless. Let me just, I just need to go down. I mean, unless I can go on another tree. And then hopefully I can see better. Right. This might be a whole lot better. No, that's the wrong gun. This is much better. A much better sight. What I'm saying is I always look at what I'm going to do with the phone. The, the Z Fold, one thing I've noticed that I, I do do with this. Ah, I got him. I think someone else got him. Right, so the, the one thing I've noticed that I do a lot with this phone is I like to multitask. So you're probably wondering, like, what kind of multitasking? Well, I like to watch a YouTube video. I also want to see it on the studio to see how many, you know, like what people like. Oh, how many people are actually watching the video? So if I see Battle Black Tree Master is getting a thousand views, okay, I need to make more videos about that. And the only way for me to do that is by looking at, ah, oh, damn, by by looking at um, you know, at those statistics, isn't it? So I'm just saying that's one of the ways that I do it. It 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 just makes it makes more sense. You know what? Oh my God. Uh, I'm just saying it makes more sense when you actually have something in front of you 
you know that that tells you that information that valid information like yes you know x amount of people do watch this kind of films uh these videos and you're able to compare you're able to circle the good thing about the fold is you get the stylus gives you those options where you can actually oh my god that's what not what i wanted <laughs> i thought i had this <laughs> Blowing people up with dynamite. Oh my god. So what I'm saying is I I I wanted I wanted uh something with a flat screen, like a tablet. Basically what I'm looking for is a tablet, but the fact that the Z Fold 5 is a phone, which is an advantage, that means that I can use mobile data, you know? Because I always get these um I, I like getting these deals, you understand? So I like getting these these uh, things whereby... Um, uh, I'm not going to get anyone up here. Right, I like getting these deals whereby I get people... All right, there we go. Nice one. I like getting these... Uh, these um, I like to compare things. It's not just about my videos. I, I just like doing things sometimes online. And maybe, you know, like the, the very fact... I'll tell you something. The very fact. Oh, my God. The very fact. Sorry. The very fact that I can have three apps running on one screen at the same time is a huge benefit to me. So basically having my YouTube uh, videos showing playing at the same time, whereas I'm also viewing studio to look at what's getting washed and what people are not you know, paying attention to and all that stuff. You understand? And then also having the fact that I could have a third app open, which the Z Fold can do, because that, that is something the Fold can do, is, is just beneficial for me. You understand? So I, I, just, I just find it a whole lot easier. Damn, I'm trying to snipe this person, and I feel like my, my shots are not hitting this person. So, so you, know, you, know, you know what I mean? Ah, damn, that mountain is covering everything. You see? <laughs> they're there but i can't get them that mountain there's a problem okay this person has landed let me try and get them let me try and oh my god what i'm saying basically is i like to do a lot of multitasking i like to do stuff the the iphone d does have apps that allow you to do the split screen thing but it's not sufficient enough like where you can run three apps at the same time it's not it's not gonna happen you understand you, you, you can divide, listen, on the iPhone, you can divide the screen in half. You can get those apps, those split screen apps that allow you to use two apps at the same time. But I've never seen an app on iPhone that allows you to have three screens at the same time. Whereas you're playing a video, most of the apps on iPhone, if you're playing a YouTube video, it, it will occupy the entire space of the phone. That's a problem with iPhone. You understand? I've never seen an app where it allows you to play the video here and then have something here. Unless you go into Safari and use the YouTube there, but then you have to delete your app, the, the other app you get from the Play Store, from the App Store, because 9 out of 10, it will try and force you to use the actual app and not the web browser um, thing. Not the, the web browser uh, YouTube. You understand? It will force you to use the app. So you need to delete your app, then go into the with Safari, use that YouTube, and then use uh, picture in picture mode and then take that out and then start doing your multitasking, which is, it's a good idea, but it's pointless because you can't multitask that way. Whereas with the Samsung, you can. You can have this screen divided in half like this. And I've even shown you can actually run three apps at the same time. So I can still be watching a YouTube video right here with all my videos, use a stylus. And there's this thing called, um, I think it's called screen right or something. I don't know if this works with the, the thingy here. But I do have that this one. You see, if I if I click on that, it gives me some more options, things I can do. I think this is called screen right. So I think if you click on this, and it takes a it takes a screenshot or something, I can write something on this. I can write Fortnite. Fortnite, right? And um, I think you can also you can share this. You understand? I mean, there's just options. I'm not I'm not saying it's it's the best thing. I'm just gonna save it right so there you go you in the game you can do those screen writing stuff on on a samsung i have not seen that being done on an iphone you understand you can do all of that with the stylus you can do a screenshot you can write stuff on it 
uh, without disturbing the actual app. You see the game still running and I can share it to somebody and say I'm playing this on Z Fold 4. And if they wanted a link, I could uh, probably, I know it will stop the game, but you, you've opened up your um, Chrome. While the game's in the background, you can open up Chrome, a third app and another app, like a messaging app. I can copy the link, put it into the message, send it to the person with a screenshot of the game I'm playing. And then just like magic, you hold wherever it is that the screen is divided and just close it and the game will go back to normal. You see what I mean? So that's why I'm saying there's a lot of things that Samsung does right that iPhone cannot do. I'm not saying iPhone will never do it. They've got that uh, freeform app that they brought to the iPhone. I've not seen them putting it to any good use, but I mean, it's there. You can also use a, a, the Apple Pencil on the phone. The problem I have is Apple Pencil is quite big. I, I think it would look a bit weird if people just saw you holding that uh, big um, Apple Pencil on, 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 your, on your phone. <laughs> it, it just looks a bit weird. You know, I'm, I'm not saying it's bad, but I'm just saying it looks a bit weird. And you're holding this huge pen on your, on your phone. And people will be wondering, why can't you just use your finger? It's an iPhone. You know what I mean? If it was designed like a, an actual pencil, like small, tiny, like what the, the new uh, S Pen for the Z Fold 5 looks like, I think that would have been better, isn't it? It, it would also be magnetic or something, something that could attach to the iPhone. You know, or maybe there would be a placement for the iPhone, like at the back of the phone where you could just snip it in without a case you understand so you just put it there it's magnetic it's on the phone you could walk around with your phone and have a stylus at the same time it's just useful to have something external sometimes you don't know you, you don't want to hold your phone i'm not saying you don't want to but sometimes you just don't have to i don't know where to land uh so we're going in this direction so what, what i'm saying is you you saw everything i was just doing the screenwriting and stuff I'm just saying it's very, very useful. You can do a lot of stuff. I've just got an idea that people may be over here in the city. So basically what I'm saying is I, I feel like, you know, what? okay, I'm not saying they have to do it on the iPhone, but I just feel adding the Type-C was a good move because it means like when I get my iPhone 15 Pro Max, I'm going to trade in my 14 Pro Max. Uh, they said that I have to pay 1600 and I'm like, no ways. That's a lot of money, man, for a phone. And just to think, just to imagine, they said they brought the, um, the new processor thing. And the only thing I noticed on the new iPhone is the Type-C cable. That's basically all. And I'm, why I'm saying that is because I, I carry around my Z Fold 4. When I get the 5, I'll be leaving the 4 at home. I mean, because... The, the very fact of me buying that phone was just because this phone doesn't unfold completely. I know it sounds a bit dumb, probably saying, well, you could have gotten it fixed. I, I think I've already explained why I, I'm, I don't trust people. And especially, listen, a lot of these shops, they don't make a lot of money. You understand? I know you're probably thinking they do. They, they don't. And when they don't get customers through the door to buy stuff or to fix their phones, what else do they have for income? And there comes you with your Z Fold 4 that doesn't unfold. And they tell you, oh, they can't fix it, but they'll buy it from you. And they'll tell you, oh, this is worthless because of the way it is. They're not going to tell you that you can actually fix it, can do things with it. No, they're not going to tell you all that stuff. They're going to say it's worthless, blah, 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 blah. Uh, we'll, we'll buy it from, from you for like $50. Uh, it's just better you sell it because, you know, like this, you can't use it. And then when you tell them you can multitask, it's unlocked. It's got 256 gig on it. It's also going to get the Android 14. So how can it be worth $50? You see? These people want to get it as cheap as possible so they can sell it on to the next person because what they'll do is they'll fix it. They will fix the phone and they'll sell it. And they won't sell it for $50. They'll, they'll make a nice huge profit. If they sell it for $400, that's a lot of money to them. Like I told you, they want profit. And all you are to them is, is that, that person that wants to fix their phone, but they, they don't care about that stuff. All they're looking at is money. You understand what I mean? So I don't, I don't really trust these people who say they can fix phones and all that. I don't trust them. I, I, don't, I wouldn't give anyone that uh, privilege. I'd be just like, ah, okay. They told me they can. I'd be like, oh, that's nice. 
that's nice for you. You can you can fix these things. You want it fixed? I'll be like, you know what? I, I I think I'll just I would rather pay a professional to fix it. No, I'm serious because at least I get the guarantee that he's gonna try his best to fix it. You know, unlike taking it to these um, these corner shops and giving it to these guys that, like I said, they 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 need to pay their rents on time. They really don't have money. I mean, listen, if 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 I was running a shop. If I was running a shop and I had to make bills, I needed to pay the, the rent on time. And here comes some dude that, you know, probably, you know, has money in his pocket, needs to fix his phone up. And, you know, he's just, um, he's just looking for that thing. I'm trying to get this thing to shrink. It won't shrink. Like, is this the lowest it goes? It, it can go lower than this, can it? And my finger's not touching. You see? Okay, all right, no. Okay, that's the lowest it goes. No, I was just wondering because it seemed like it's it doesn't it doesn't want um to lower the screen. Wait, which way am I going? Alright, let me just go higher so I can jump. Which way am I going? This way. So basically why I'm saying listen, if I had to pay bills, I have to pay rent, and I'm pretty sure these guys pay a lot of money. If you're in the high street, right, you're in, you know those, they pay like grands. I don't know how much they pay. They pay a lot of money. And they have to pay the electricity bill and everything. And some fat, uh, you know, dude walks in, you know, and I'm just thinking, you know what, this guy is probably taken care of by his mom and dad. But at the end of the day, these people are not looking to help you. They're looking to make a quick buck. That's what I'm saying. So I would rather take it to someone who's going to charge me more money to fix it. Why? Because I, I have a feeling that that person will put more effort into it. Oh, my God. You know, ever since I started playing this game, I just keep losing. I used to win, but now I just, all I do is lose in the game. You know that song, all I do is win, 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 but in this game, I'm losing. So, what I'm saying is that I'm, I'm understanding, I understand people's point of view, and I also understand that people need to make a living. So I'm not blaming the guys that, you know, that uh, do try to fix your phones, and a lot of the time, the people you do give the phone to are not professionals, you have to remember that. I think a lot of the time, these guys, they, they just, they're just doing it like, like a hobby. You know what I mean? Why am I keep getting shot? I don't understand. Okay, I have to learn where my people are on this game. What I'm saying is, they need to pay bills. Everybody's paying bills. Like I pay bills. You know, everyone has to pay them. But imagine running a shop in the, in the town. That must be really, really expensive. Because you're no longer just... Um, you see what they're doing? Just targeting me and stuff. It's like mad, man. Look at them running away. You, you're happy to shoot me, but you... It's like there's no one around here. You notice that? My people are not around here. All right, let me, let me land where everyone is. Oh, you know what? I think I've got a sniper. Let me try and come up here. I'm going to go on this mountain. No, I mean, it's better I go on top of the mountain because there's no one down there doing anything. And then... Just as I was talking, oh my god, what? Look at that. There's a guy down there. Why is no one killing him? What the hell? No one's doing anything. Oh, he's got a sword. He's not doing... Oh, okay, he's, he's attacking him. Ah, it's a waste of time, man. If I could get to that hill. Yeah. But there's people there. You know what? I want to find where my people are at. It's better if I go to them. Yeah, you see, they're getting shot as well. This is madness, man. What the hell? It's like everyone is just shooting at you. Right, so what I'm saying is that when you've got things you need to pay for, I understand. And I also understand that people need to make a profit. But giving, it, uh, giving something that you value a lot to someone who doesn't care and just wants to make a quick buck is not a good idea. Ah, finally. 
finally i got something what i'm saying is it's, it's not a good idea you you, sh you shouldn't even do it you know you shouldn't even think about it because ah god i'm tired of getting shot i mean i, I get a shot i got shot a lot in uh, in the other one it's just that this one's a bit crazy you know Right, so what I'm actually trying to say, guys, is that I'm not saying that everyone in a shop doesn't know how to fix a phone. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying when you've got bills to pay, people will do things, even heartless things, just to, to pay that rent. You, you understand? They don't want to lose their shop. So I'm not going to give something I value to someone whom I don't know, you know, someone I, I probably... I know, you know, sometimes you can look at someone and you just know this person is not going to do anything for you. You get what I'm saying? It's, it's just, it's just going to take your stuff and mess it up and tell you that it's no, no, no longer working. I've, I've, I've seen people that have gone into shops with a working phone and they walk out and the phone's no longer working. You know, <laughs> I mean, it's not funny, but it happens. And it happens a lot. It happens a lot, you know. You walk in the shop with a working tablet. It's working. It just has one little issue. Maybe the, the button for the power is just not going in. All you want them to do is to, to, to slot it back in for you. And you're willing to pay them because maybe you just don't want damage to that tablet. Maybe you're trying to sell it off. You take it in and it's working. Next thing you go and uh, to collect your tablet. And from a working tablet, it's no longer turning on. And you're wondering, like, what, when, what happened between the time you left it for those two days and the time you're coming back and suddenly it's not? It's most likely that they want you to sell it to them. They know what's wrong with it. They took something out of it, and then you sell it to them thinking it's busted. You get frustrated, oh, it's worthless now, and you sell it to them, and they put that part back in, and they sell it. And that's what they do. That's what a lot of these shops do. That's why I don't trust them. That's why sometimes when my friend is like, why don't you take the shopping gear fixed? I just tell him, say, you know what? I would rather keep my Samsung Galaxy Z Fold in the, in the way it is because it's working. Yes, it can't unfold completely. It's got that weird gap thing to it. But I prefer it this way because I know, I know that when I want to use it for multitasking and playing games, I can still use it for those things. It doesn't unfold. It kind of uh, messes up the experience, I feel. But... You know, like I said, if you do get an, an opportunity to buy another phone similar to the one you've got, like this Z Fold, I'm getting the Z Fold 5, then what's the difference? Nothing, you see? So to me, that's automatically just meaning like I'm going to get something soon. I just have to be patient. You need to be patient, get what you're getting soon, and that's it. End of story. This thing of taking it to the shop, trust me, you go into the reviews of lots of shops of these people that do sell this stuff and see what they're doing to people. The person will be complaining. I used to be able to do this and that on my tablet. Now it's not even turning on. I used to be able to do this and that on my phone. Now it's not working. Why? Because these people want you to go back in the shop and say, well, it's worthless now. Uh, how much do you give me? And he looks for the lowest pricing he can give you. So he just puts back your motherboard in there and sells it off. And most of the time, they'll be texting you. Oh, no, bring it back to the shop. I'll try, I'll try. Because he knows he's got the motherboard. They just swap out the motherboards on the iPhone. That's it. And then you, you're thinking, oh, it's not working. It's not working because it's not the motherboard. They swap it out for something that's damaged. And then you think your thing is messed. Why people don't go to Apple to get it fixed? I don't know. I, I really don't know. And it's like it's expensive. It's expensive because it's a professional service. You're going to take it to them dudes. They're going to mess up your stuff. And then... I mean, what do you gain from that? Nothing. You gain nothing from that. That's why I, 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 did, I did tell my friend, I was like, no, you know what? I, I'd rather keep my phone in the condition it's in. Even if it's not working. I mean, it's working, but I mean, it's, it's not... I don't know. Maybe it's not to the standard that most people want it to be. But to me, it's, it's okay. You know, it's, 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 it's how it is. Sorry, I'm just looking at what I'm doing on the top here. I'm just, I'm looking at these other things. I mean, um, looking at my tablet, my, what do you call this thing? 
Sorry, I was looking at my mini iPad mini. You see, I'm I'm looking I'm looking at videos. I'm looking at videos on the iPad mini. You see the Type C cable there. I'm looking at um, videos, so I'm just looking at the videos I made yesterday. So that's why when I stop talking sometimes, because I'm trying to concentrate on what I'm looking at. Right, guys, I make another video.